when we talk about the new guidelines, especially for the treatment of MAC lung disease, we know that actually after expert consultation, there was no new recommendation for how long we treat MAC and that we treat it for 12 months after culture conversion. Dr. Cohen, what do you think about this? And are there any other mycobacterial species that, that may, may be different? Yeah. So for macrolide susceptible MAC lung disease, um, my current practice is to treat people for at least 12 months beyond culture conversion, which is the time at which their cultures, their sputum cultures, are negative for mycobacteria and are persistently negative on multiple separate occasions. In contrast, the 2020 guidelines for Mycobacterium kansasii, which recommend that treatment be for at least 12 months rather than 12 months beyond culture conversion. And lastly, for Mycobacterium abscessus, there was insufficient data for the guidelines to comment on the specific duration of therapy, but they recommend that expert consultation be uh, considered. I think it's also important to note that when we talk about treatment, we're talking about susceptible isolates, especially for MAC. When something becomes resistant to the macrolides and to amicacin, either or both, um, expert consultation is often recommended because the therapy can be significantly altered at that point. 